It is a time when magic is more powerful than science, and only those who control the magic control destiny. They are the visionaries. Far away in a distant galaxy, the people of the planet Prismos lived in an age of great technology. They had taken control of all their sources of energy and enjoyed a life of comfort and ease for 7,000 years. But this was not to last, for the realignment of the three blazing suns of Prismos signaled the end of the age of science and technology. Controls aren't responding. I've got to make a crash landing. My power's failing. I'm gonna lose it. Run for it. Scientists are at a loss to explain the disruption of technology across the planet, but authorities warn against panic. <laughs> When all of the electrical energy had been depleted from the world, an age of magic began. But it would take some time before men would believe this. Years passed, and as the old order collapsed, a new, more primitive order rose from the rubble. Feral, Ektar, to arms! So, Darkstorm, once again you attack New Valaric in vain. Knowing that the balance of power between Darkstorm and Leoric could easily be tipped, both frantically searched for a military advantage. Well, since we no longer have electricity, I have invented a catapult, powered by guinea pig. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> and what do you want, Odd One? The age of science is over, and the age of magic has begun. I am the ancient wizard Merklin, and close to your castle, Darkstorm, is my shrine, high atop Iron Mountain. It is filled with magic of every description. Nonsense! There is no such thing as magic! And you take your cheap carnival bauble with you. Die! A magical shrine? <laughs> but surely that's ridiculous. Ridiculous, but true. Why have you come to us, old one? I seek brave knights, men and women of vision. I wish to teach them the ways of magic. Maybe there is a magical shrine. Uh, yes, Ektar, perhaps there is. I think this bears looking into. Let us make preparations. Uh, uh, open the window! Somebody open the window! Uh! Oh, oh, my great lord, Darkstorm. If it be trade carefully, they're shattered glass. Enough, Mordred! What word do you bring? Leoric? Leoric is even more of a fool than we thought. He has decided to quest for the shrine. Imagine, he believes in magic! <laughs> Enough! We can't let Leoric gain the advantage. We too must join this quest for magic. Recon. Help Mordred on his way. With pleasure. <laughs> Mordred! When you have cleaned yourself up, ready the chariot. We leave tomorrow. <laughs> yes, your worthy highness. Attend me, Knights of Prismos, and hear my challenge. 
all who can ascend the mountain, survive the many traps set before you, and reach my shrine, shall be rewarded with magic more powerful than your wildest dreams. This is my solemn promise. Onward to the shrine! Hold up! I don't like the sound of that. There's got to be a better route. Let's go back. No, never go back. Nothing's worse than retreat. Besides, if I don't make it, I'll never know what hit me. He made it. Yes, and now you must try. For those who succeed, the rewards are very great. I... I have no interest in playing your game any longer. So be it. Perhaps we should relieve those behind us of the burden of following? <laughs> That should take care of them. <laughs> you seem to have a problem, Cliff Dweller. It is not a problem. It is a cleverly disguised opportunity. Where there's hope, there is always a way. Shoot him down! But I, I, I lack a bow, fair master. You displease me, Mordred. You're right, master. I'll get a bow as soon as we return to the castle. You know, I was thinking that since we're rebuilding New Valaric, we might have room for a jousting arena near the market square. A good idea. Though I fear some of the citizens would rather have a botanical garden. Botanical garden? <laughs> you must be joking. I hear voices. Somebody has found a shortcut. Mordred, do something treacherous that I may put those knights behind me. Help me! Help me! What's that? Help! Come on! Help me! My friends, I think we've been deceived. Mordred? Why don't you speak? Is your tongue sore today from licking your master's boots? Stick it out. Let me see. Savor my sigh, Victor! Mordred! You've done your job! Get over here! Immediately, master. How can that sycophant call himself a knight? Well, look at it this way. He was clever enough to delay us. You have a point. Yes, let's go! Sounds. Look at the size of that. Come, we'll try to sneak past. Yes, try that, Leori. <laughs> what do we do? Prepare for the end. Show a little faith. He's crazy. Defend us! I can't believe that worked. I reasoned that he'd never been attacked and wouldn't know what to do. I never would have thought of that. Where are you, Mortred? I don't know. You are useless. I know, Master. Well, what a beautiful exhibit. This must be the art gallery. Where are you, Mortred? Mortred, where? I wasn't sneaking. I was trying to 
to avoid seeing your wretched face. would have deterred you, Cinder. Nothing deters me. Nights, what nasty traps! Get us down from here! I could, but to do so would require considerable effort on my part, which I could only do for my loyal subjects. Therefore, if you desire me to carry out this deed, you must swear loyalty to me. It would be an honor to serve with the infamous Darkstorm. You got good food in your castle? The best. Then I'm in. You leave me little choice. So rule me well, or suffer the consequences. Blast you, Darkstorm! Cut me down! Excellent. Worthy subjects, I shall extract you. Oh, we could wind around in here forever. <laughs> Smell that? Fresh air, I think. <laughs> yes, this way. Aoric? Hey, I swear I've never met a character with a nose like Feral's. You know, I've been thinking, what about a jousting arena and a botanical garden? Hmm, I don't know. Do you think there will be room for both? Hold. Where did Ektar go? Ektar? Ektar, where are you? Leoric! Darkstorm and his foul knights wait in ambush! Attack! Yeah! Lords. I like the ring of that. Looks like a party. Good, let's join in. Cease fighting, you fools! There is magic enough for everyone. Now all you need to do is break the door down and enter the shrine. Cryotech. Why don't you vent your aggressions on the offending slab of wood? Congratulations, noble knights. You have survived the final test. You, and you alone, have the vision to reach the shrine. You are the visionaries. And I deem you worthy now to receive my magic. Magic that will help you and your people prosper in this new age. Merklin, what do you want from us in exchange for your magic? Occasional tasks. What sort of tasks? You will learn in due time. Now, let me present you the magical totems that each of you has earned. Arthon, when it was necessary to fly, you found wings. For that, you shall receive the totem of the eagle. I knew the 
this would all be worth it. Sindar, for your climbing ability and brute strength, I give you the Gorilla Totem. Widderquick, for your blinding speed and dexterity, I grant you the Totem of the fastest animal in creation, the Cheetah. Cravex, for your deed, you shall earn the Totem of the only airborne scavenger on Prismos, the Phylot. And you, Ektar, for sensing the ambush, shall receive the Totem of the Fox, Mortred, for bootlicking above and beyond the call of duty, I give you the scampering beetle. I am offended. Stifle thyself. Oh. <laughs> forgive me, master, forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we continue? Feral, for your amazing tracking skills, you will wear the totem of the wolf. And you, Viralina, displayed a killing instinct underwater that is matched only by that of the shark. Thus, it shall be your totem. Galadria, no animal evinces greater intelligence under the ocean than the dolphin. Thus, it is fitting that you shall have its totem. And Lexor, for turning cowardice into a defensive art, I grant you the totem of the armadillo. Be assured it was not cowardice! Silence before I bash you! There is no need to shout. <laughs> Cryotech, for your incredible strength and endurance, you shall wear the totem of the bear. Recon, for your stealth and treachery, you shall bear the totem of the lizard. Leoric. For raw courage and leadership, you shall wear the totem of the lion. It's all right. I was merely testing. And Darkstorm, for your incomparable climbing skill and general slaminess, you shall receive the totem of the mollusk. These animals are the magical representation of your true inner beings. When you need them most, you will become them. But remember, they are like emotions, powerful, yet sometimes uncontrollable. You mean, we fought our way into the shrine for magic we can't control? Get it through your dull brain that I have no intention of cheating you. Now, Dip your staffs into the pool, and you will see a wondrous transformation. What about those of us who have no staff? You will discover in time that you also have great powers. Now, raise your staffs. Each has been charged with a special power. Wisdom, light speed, knowledge. Strength, decay, destruction, fear, and invulnerability. However, each time your power staffs are used, they will grow weaker. Thus, you will have to come here to recharge them with more magical powers. Now, if you'll excuse me... Wait! That's it? We just walked out? No, as a matter of fact, I have an exit method that I think you will especially appreciate. <laughs> that is my staff. Put it down before I am forced to teach you a nasty lesson in manners. You have no staff, reptile. You would be a fool to cross me again. Thank you, Sir Knight. <laughs> Nothing wrong with him that a good tap on the Pratt won't take care of. All knights pledge to me! Cease fighting! I propose that magic shall only be used to preserve peace on Prismos. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Nor can I, but 
I second your proposal. May the age of peace last forever. Forever! We're not really going to honor that treaty, are we? Of course not. And Leoric knows it. But he is bound to honor his commitments. I am not. <laughs> it is so much easier to be evil. is a fair maiden indeed. May I? <clears throat> oh, never before have I met such a strong knight. I assure you, madam, it was but a petty feat. What is that? My power staff. It is charged with great magic. <laughs> you do have a fanciful imagination. I will prove it to you. A whim, thought, and more is sought. Wake my mind, thy will be wrought. Address me as bearer of knowledge. Very well, bearer of knowledge. Tell me all you know of this fair maiden. The young woman is the evil knight, Virolina. That's absurd. <laughs> 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 